Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Friday, April 5th, 2019. We made it to the end of the week and we got some rain to deal with. We have an area of low pressure that's passing to our south and that's producing a few showers, even a little bit of snow up in the Poconos and a little bit of grapple to the north and west of Philadelphia. But as you can see, temperatures are rapidly rising above freezing. So any type of frozen precipitation will rapidly change over to rain through this morning. As far as the rest of the region, we're going to be dealing with rain, especially in the afternoon and evening hours, and some of that rain will be heavy at times. Temperatures this morning range from the upper 30s to mid 40s throughout much of the region, lower to mid 30s over the far northern interior. And those temperatures will be rising into the lower to mid 40s for today. So basically, temperatures are going almost nowhere throughout much of the region. When we take a look at the satellite picture, you can see the best lifting here is focused back towards the Ohio River Valley and towards the southern mid-Atlantic. This is all heading towards our neck of the woods, and that's what's going to support the moderate to heavy rainfall for this afternoon and evening. So if you have any plans for this evening, like, oh, I don't know, going to a baseball game or something, you might want to get some backup plans because it doesn't look very pretty, especially around 7 p.m. for the Phillies game. The Mets are off and the Yankees are on the road and they'll probably get a bit of a delay as well down in Baltimore. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Periods of rain, especially in the afternoon and evening. Temperatures not moving all that much in the lower to mid 40s. For tonight, look for rain to continue on through midnight and then tapering off towards the morning hours. Look for lows in the lower 40s. For tomorrow, Overall, not too bad. You know, you have some scattered cloud cover as a threat for an isolated shower, but temperatures are going to be rising into the lower to mid 60s. So overall, not that bad at all for Saturday. On Sunday, pretty much the same thing. Scattered cloud cover. Watch out for some morning fog. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 40s for lows and then lower to mid 60s on the immediate coast, mid to upper 60s everywhere else generally a very nice day so if you're going out you have some outdoor plans really this weekend's going to be excellent and i know some of you guys out there are wrestling fans wrestlemania will be fine with very pleasant weather conditions and hopefully brock lesnar loses we'll see on monday an area of low pressure will be approaching the region with a warm front and that's going to lead to some periods of showers warmer though lows in the mid to upper 40s highs in the mid to upper 60s along the immediate coast and then upper 60s to mid 70s throughout the rest of the region best potential for mid 70s will be in the philadelphia metro and around the delaware river valley on tuesday the cold front falls with additional showers look for temperatures to range from the lower to mid 50s for lows and mid to upper 60s for highs on wednesday high pressure and complete control with clear skies look for lows in the lower 40s highs in the lower 50s on Thursday, high pressure remains in control with scattered cloud cover. Look for lows in the lower to mid 30s, highs in the lower to mid 50s. And on Friday, another area of low pressure will approach the region with periods of rain expected. Look for lows in the lower to mid 40s. Highs variable depending on where this warm front sets up. So to the north and east of the warm front, look for low temp high temperatures in the upper 50s to mid 60s. But then along into the south of that warm front, temperatures will be rising into the mid-60s to lower 70s. So again, a very volatile forecast for the end of next week. But certainly one thing will be constant, which will be rainfall. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino, And as always, stay safe out there.